All right, so we'll get into that. But let's, um, let me just review the answers real quick. Um, let's see. <laughs> Number one, William Woodward and his friend Samuel Taylor Coolidge were British romantics, but they were often referred to as, anybody remember? The Kirkman Hell. Love. <laughs> Talks about where uh, Wordsworth lived. It was the late poets. The late poets. All right, because Wordsworth resided in the Lake District. I think he talked about it very early in the film, although it was prominent. Okay? All right. Uh, at least two other poets mentioned or discussed in the video, in addition to Coleridge and Wordsworth. Um, give me one of them, Alex. Um, John Keats. John Keats. Give me another one, Katie. Lord Byron. Lord Byron. Good. Um, any others that were mentioned? Mary Wollstonecraft was mentioned? Yes. Okay. William All right. What's that? William Blake. William Blake. We've already read. Good. Anyone, any others? What about um, the, the guy that would have been, um, well, Mary Wollstonecraft they referred to was, it the, was it the older, the one that we read, or, or her daughter? Her daughter. Okay. And her husband was whom? Percy Blythe Shelley, right? Okay. Um, romantic poetry is defining features. I'm just going to provide the bullet point for you, but if you could insert the word that I leave out, please. All right? So read along as I give them to you. Um, romantic poetry, I had an emphasis on personal experience. Let's try it again. I had an emphasis on personal experience and the glorification, sorry. <laughs> Glorification of the individual. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. Romantic poetry featured new spontaneity and freedom. Okay. Um, romantic poetry focused on a love of nature. Um, romantic poetry defining features um, included an importance of the commonplace. All right. Um, romantic poetry is defined. Oh. Go back to that first commonplace. Danielle brought that up in the video from yesterday. The everyday life, all right? That's the commonplace that the romantics focused on. All right? Romantic poetry had a fascination with the supernatural and the exotic. Okay. All right?